Hey, welcome to slap -a base section. I realized that I have not taught you any of the slap base techniques thus far uh, here on Truefire, so let's dive into that right now. Now, the slap base techniques that I use and one would use on fingerstyle guitar are slightly different to those used on the bass guitar by most players, okay? Now, there's a reason for that. Now, earlier in this course, uh, we looked at using the thumb percussion on certain chords, okay? And that the, the slap techniques that I'm gonna show you now do kind of spawn from that genesis somewhat, okay? Now, a traditional bass player will play a slap on the guitar string, like this, with their thumb pointed upwards, as if to say, good job, slap in the bass, man, okay? However, this particular technique does not lend itself super well to fingerstyle guitar. The reason for that is that it then removes all of our fingers and other parts of our hand, our, our heel of our hand, for example, from any meaningful purpose. If our hand is over here, it's very hard to do anything else with it. So I like to adopt the approach of turning my thumb downwards, much like the bassist Flea from the Red Hot Chili Poppers. Okay, He has his thumb pointed downwards like this when he slaps. Now by doing this, we allow uh, our fingers to be free to strum the strings if we want, but also the heel of our hand is free to do a little bit of percussion if we want as well. So that's why my thumb is pointed down, and that's why I would advise you to do the same, okay? Now, in the slap bass section that we're about to look at, I'm gonna introduce you to the importance of four different movements, okay? These four different movements, if you can learn them, will enable you to improvise with a slap bass technique that you could apply to not only your fingerstyle guitar compositions, but actually on a bass guitar, an electric guitar, anything like that, okay? To get a flurry of licks and tricks in there, all right? Now, let me take you through these four movements right now. First of all, we have the downwards pointed thumb slap. What I'm doing there is spanking my, my thumb here, the knuckle of my thumb specifically, into that bottom string, okay? Now the string is open, you see I'm leaving it open, I'm not touching the string, so it is free to vibrate. We'll come back to this later, this is very important, okay? The string will only make a sound if it's able to vibrate, okay? So the thumb is gonna come in with a pivot of the wrist. The wrist is gonna turn, slap the knuckle of the thumb into that bottom string, and quickly escape like a hot potato, okay? Just like that. That is movement number one. Those chromatic notes were to avoid any copyright infringement there. Okay, that's number one. Number two is the left hand mute. Now, as my fingers were off the strings, it is, uh, I guess, kind of obvious that they need to make a return. We're gonna do that in a way that generates a percussive hit. Okay? We can do that anywhere on the neck. And we, ideally, we want to get it somewhere where it is very dead, okay? So we don't actually get a little harmonic, okay? Although that is a feature of previous exercises in the progressive fingerstyle course. So the three fingers here are going to slap back onto the strings as hard as possible. Well, not as hard as possible. I don't know your strength. But enough to get a click, some kind of dead note that implies a percussive hit. So we have slap and left-handed mute. See how every action thus far has an opposite action. I come in with the slap, I come off with the fingers, I come on with the fingers, I come up with the slap ready to go again, okay? And that brings us to our third little movement here. We're gonna do a slap again, but this time it is muted, okay? My thumb is still hitting the string exactly the same as before, but this time the fingers are on the strings, okay? So we have open slap, left hand mute, muted slap. Now I, rem I told you that every action has like an opposite action. This is exactly true of the next movement, which is called a pop, okay? For those of you familiar with Guitar Pro transcribing software, 
yes, all three of you, I see you, um, you will know that there are slap and pop symbols when transcribing in the left-hand toolbox. Now, a pop is when the finger goes under a string and pulls it out to create a kind of pop sound. That's the sound of the string being lifted up and slapping back into, through the force of the string, getting a tense, hitting the metal fret wire. Like that, okay? Now I'm not open, I'm actually muted with the left hand, so it is muted. So in sequence that would be slap, left hand mute, close slap, pop. Try and practice that before we get into the etude in a sequence of four. And let's take it to the etude and see if we can create a piece of music using these techniques. Good luck with that, guys. Get practicing, get slapping, and see you in the next section.